Welcome back to Live at 5 at 4 on this Friday Eve. Oh, a great picture of Dr. Bob there. Mm -hmm. He's got a big show that he hosts, but he always comes here on Thursdays with us first. No doubt about it. It is the big health story right now, talking about the flu. Yeah, according to the CDC, the flu virus is widespread in Tennessee. So the question, are you prepared? Have you had your flu shot? Dr. Bob is here with more on, uh, I guess, what we're seeing here in Tennessee. Yeah, sometimes when we look at the statistics, they're staggering of what's going on with the flu in the last two years. We used to think of, well, between 10 and 40,000 people, 10 to 40,000 may die. Last year it was 61,000. The year before it was 80,000 people Gee. that died of the flu. Two years ago, 950,000 hospitalizations. Gee. 48 million people got the flu. 48 million. I mean, that's, that's like 10 percent of the population. Yes, it's just a huge, it's huge, huge tradition. number. So we need to be prepared if we do get the flu what the symptoms are like and what we have available to do for us because the chances are is people are going to get the flu. Maybe they didn't have their flu shot. Maybe the flu shot won't be as effective this year. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. If whether or not we've got the right match or not, I don't think that information is out yet. So the symptoms we get are sore throat, cough, and then we get aches and chills and feel, feel terrible, malaise and fatigue. It's, Send, the body is sending us a message. Go to bed, hydrate yourself, take medicine for the aches. You can take ibuprofen, be careful, below the age of four. Don't use aspirin for sure. Cough medicine later on. Children shouldn't use cough medicine. Sometimes lozenges as we get older will help soothe the throat. But the main thing is to stay away from other people. Don't give other people the flu. Be sensitive to the people inside your family tree so that you don't necessarily expose yourself to them too. Wash your hands frequently. That's if you've got the flu or if you don't want to get the flu. Uh, there are uh, four medicines that are available if somebody gets the flu early within the first 48 hours. There are some medicines you can take by mouth. Who should take those? Well, people that have serious illnesses, those that are over the age of 65, sort of an insult to me, I'm over 65. Uh, but it means the chances of surviving the flu are not as good as they are when somebody is between 20 and 50. So there are medicines if you start them early. If you've got heart failure, asthma, a serious chronic illness, then you need to talk with your doctor about getting medicine to stop the flu because it keeps the virus from reduplicating in the body. Hydrate yourself up if you have to, go in the bathroom and steam it up and, and pay attention to general health. The flu usually lasts seven to 10 days. At the end of 10 days, or if a fever, if you've got a fever, when it goes away, it probably is not as communicable, but you need to be careful of when you can and should not go back to school. Talk to your doctor, talk to your family members about that. And be safe for the people around you as well as for yourself. And may this be a mild flu season because it's here. Yeah, yeah, it is here. Let's hope so, Dr. Bob. Good information. By the way, Dr. Bob's show, Tuesdays at 9 p.m., Sundays at 2.30 p.m. on 10 News 2, and always Thursday here on Live at 5 at 4. Can have some big guests on that show this year, Beth. That's what he's saying. Yep.